Why does concrete have lines? Well, there's really only two things that you could mean if that's your question. And the first would be control joints. Control joints are installed into concrete to encourage concrete to crack in a specific location. And a control joint is something that you might see floated into the concrete when the concrete is finished and still wet. Or a control joint is something that you might see cut into the concrete in the days following after the concrete was placed. If you use a concrete saw to cut control joints into the concrete, the goal is to not cut through the slab completely, but more to score it, weaken it in that area, and encourage the concrete to crack in that specific location as opposed to others. So why are those lines there? Well, concrete shrinks as it cures, and so it's expected that large open areas of concrete are going to crack somewhere. So instead of having it crack right in the middle of perhaps a specifically decorative feature or area of the concrete, you cut or actually score the concrete more accurately with control joints, and that encourages the concrete to crack there versus someplace else. But you could also have been referring to broomed lines in concrete. That might be the lines that you're referring to. And when you finish concrete or trowel the surface so that it's smooth and flat, usually, especially around something like a swimming pool deck, you would use what's called a broomed finish, where, whereby you draw a broom physically over the concrete and the bristles of the broom draw lines into the, the concrete. And what that does is it increases the, the traction so that there's a lot of purchase and much less likely to have a, a skid or a slip and fall kind of accident. So in total, those are the two kinds of lines that you could have in concrete. You could have broomed lines from the finish, or you could have the control joints that control where the concrete cracks. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.